Is Rufus in? Oh, Meruru. He and Mr. Sturk just stepped out. Him and Mr. Sturk? Oh, geez. I better go find them. I'm sorry to call on you so suddenly. Here, have a drink. Why did you invite me to the tavern out of the blue? I haven't been bothering Princess Meruru. I brought you here to show you my appreciation. Your appreciation? As you know, because of my position, I tend to be very strict with the princess. Of course, it's only because I want her to grow up strong. Mr. Rufus... When you mentioned a knighthood, for example, I know it's my duty to set up a peacekeeping force to keep her safe. But now is not the time for that. I want her to be free of restrictions and have the chance to cultivate her talents. Soon enough, when the princess stands to represent this land to the outside world, that's when I'll need your help. Until then, I only ask that you give me time to do things my way. I had no idea you'd thought so extensively about Princess Maruru. I'm ashamed of my behavior. I was so caught up in acting like a knight, I failed to notice your true intentions. I have much to learn. I realize that now. From today forward, I will approach Princess Meruru merely as an escort on her varied adventures. Thank you. Please continue to protect the princess in the ways that I cannot. I will. On my sword and on the drink we just shared, I swear. Purposeless, outdated, no longer useful. But I've lived my whole life as a knight, and I'm not the kind of old dog that can learn new tricks. I understand how you feel. Personally, I feel that a knight like you carries a truly remarkable presence. Although time may pass, the people do not change, nor does the spirit that dwells within them. Ah, you really do understand. Your ability to comprehend the truth astounds me. What? Why are they drinking together? When did they get all buddy-buddy? Oh, Princess Meruru. And there are two of you. Two? You're a drunk, aren't you, Mr. Sturk? No, no, he's right. I see two of you, too, which makes a total of four. Uh, Rufus, are you drunk, too? Four princesses. How can I possibly guard all of you? <laughs> but I look forward to the challenge. Um, you two should probably stop drinking now. I won't be felled by such a paltry alcoholic enemy, for I am a proud knight. It has nothing to do with being a knight. We just need to get you home. I, Skeletonberg, shall use my sword to protect you forever, princess. What did you... You just totally messed up your own name. It seems he's quite intoxicated. He's been drinking at a furious pace. He's not the only one. You seem pretty gone yourself, Rufus. 
That cannot be. I am not drunk. Absolutely. That's what everyone says when they're drunk. Let's just get out of here. No, let's stay in here. Let's enjoy this just for tonight. We must all cut loose sometimes. Even I. Every day I must try to soothe my nerves after dealing with our princess's absurd, emotional, instinctual actions. What? Why'd this become about me all of a sudden? And Lias distances himself from me more and more every day. It's the sad reality of an older brother. Wait, you were just complaining about me. Now you're already on to Elias? What are you saying? Time doesn't stand still for you. Listen, developing a kingdom means gathering all given information. And always being three steps ahead. And now I'm getting lectured? I can't deal with this. Sure, it's nice to cut loose sometimes, but they're too much to handle when they're drunk. <laughs>